I think it was within the first 10 days after landing, the MP got in the uh, civilian uh, evacuation center, saw one man, kind of nice physique and well-mannered. He suspected he might be a Japanese imposter, Japanese soldier. So called for an interrogation, interrogator. And uh, I believe the camp was very close to our division headquarters. So I was sent. And of course, I often was asked to go to camp because I can speak the language, both Japanese and Okinawan native language. But anyway, for some reason, I was ordered to go to this particular camp to interrogate this uh, suspected imposter. The minute I saw him, I recognized him. So I just looked at him in surprise and said, I yelled out, I said, Sensei, teacher. So he looked at me in equal surprise, oh, it's you. And between two of us, so choked up, we couldn't say anything else. So I told my escort officer, Captain Fernandez, this man is used to be my uh, teacher during the 7th and 8th grade in the grade school. He is not a Japanese soldier, so please send him back to the camp where his family is retained. So that's, that's the end of it. And then I never saw him until after the war when I first visited him about either 1948 or 47 or 48. After that, each time I go to Okinawa, I visit him and we talk about all good old days, including the uh, hardship, hard training or the hard discipline he imposed on, on me during the school days. <laughs> so unfortunately, he passed away two or uh, three years ago. And so real sad. And um, I think you mentioned that on one of the occasions that you did meet him later on, he described what he saw he, that day. Yes. Um, on the day of invasion, April 1st, he said he was atop the uh, hill known as Kakazu Hill. It's a few miles, uh, I don't know, a few hundred yards away from so-called Futenma area, high ground. He said he was watching the invasion beachhead and never dreamed that one of his former students would be among them. Of course, he had no idea. So he took me over there to the site, and sure enough, from there you can see the entire beachhead, as if you're looking down the Aramona Beach from the high ground. So I can Im just imagine his shock when he saw the uh, fleet, invasion fleet, just literally covered the entire west coast of Okinawa. Yeah? Hundreds of them, ships, various types. And uh, he's not the only one who said that. It was so thick, you can almost step one ship to the other, one by one, covered. Entire beachhead was covered with black spot. 